Hey, Brad, so the Eagles yeah. just shut out their rival. I don't know if it's really much of a rivalry, but Ignatius, right? You're both on west side of Cleveland. Yeah. 83 nothing. Yep. Who did not get... 84 nothing. if people don't know, is the perfect score. Yeah. Okay? Who did not get a pin? Uh, it was Bobby Hopkins. Bobby, Bobby. Tech, tech fold his kid though. So how can you complain about? Which that? is actually more 16, dominant in a six, lot of. Sixteen to one it was. So. Which is sometimes yeah. more dominant. We yeah. know the ultimate goal of wrestling has to pin. Yeah. But. When you you wrestled in this last year. This tournament, yes. And you wrestled in all the OECs. Yep. Did you win OEC? Yeah, I won OECs. You won the divisional and the regular, right? You yep. won both. Both. Yeah. So you you had a great season last year. Did Guy Seiko prepare you with events like this, oh, National yeah. Middle School duels? Did it prepare you for what St. Ed's is throwing at you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like the big thing is uh, just knowing, like, the stage that you're on. You know what I mean? Like, I wrestle on, like, these caliber kids now, and then I go up next year and I'm wrestling the same caliber kids, so it's nothing new, nothing to panic panic about or anything. So. Iron Man. How'd the Iron Man go for you? I went two and two. Which is better than a sharp stick in the eye. Yeah. Which yeah. I told my nephew all the time when he was brought something to be disappointed. Two and two is pretty good in a great it's your first high school tournament. Yeah, I know, but I mean, we train to win everything. So, I mean, that's not good enough, you know, and I know that I have a lot to work on. So, uh, I'm a, you know, I'm in that room every day working to, to, to place then to win, you know. So. Coach F is, pre- is regarded as one of the best high school coaches in the country ever, okay, as an assistant and now as a head coach. Did you did you really anticipate that that level shift and that and how good he was? You probably heard from everybody, but you really anticipate how great of a coach Coach Half was. I wouldn't say I doubted him ever because I mean I know the history of the program, so he's got to be doing something right. I mean, and then when I go there, I mean it's it's just insane how how knowledgeable he is about every position you ask him any question he's going to tell you and the thing i love about coach hef if he's not the best guy to show you how to do something he'll bring someone else in get another coach who knows how to do it if if you're stuck in a position and it's not his specialty he'll pull someone over who maybe it's you know any coach carson you know oh he's more of a funk guy well uh coach hef isn't necessarily like a funk like wrestler type guy well coach carson is so he pulls coach carson over and he'll show you how to do it you know so gus seiko is the assistant coach. He's the head assistant at St. Edward. Mm-hmm. Guy was your West Shore coach. Yep. Is there a big difference between going from a dad coaching you to the son now coaching you? I mean, they're different people, but I, I love them both. I mean, not really, not too much, no. Goals for the Eagles, right? The Eagles got a fabulous freshman class that you're yeah. one of the guys of, right? Miller Brothers, right? Yeah. Got a really good freshman class. Yeah. Um, Goals. Tell me some goals for the Eagles freshman class. Go. National champions. Every single one of us state champs. We win national champion. I mean, we're going to shoot for the stars, right? It's not even unrealistic for for this class. So. And what's crazy is you already know it. You know, at some point between the next three years, obviously the Iron Man's over. You're going to have to win the Iron Man we'll at the, some point. We'll win the Iron Man. I, that's. I, listen, Charlie's behind the camera. That's supreme confidence. I know as alum. Charlie's fired up right well, now. Well, I know, I know how hard we work in that room, every single one of us, every day. So, I mean, I'm not afraid to say that. What do you think of the Spire Institute? What do you think of this facility? I think it's amazing. I actually grew up playing here, soccer. I've, I, I don't think I've ever wrestled here. I've, but I, I mean, I grew up at this facility. It's amazing. So, it's unreal. <laughs> this isn't even the amazing building. The amazing building's across the football field. Have you ever been the indoor track? Yeah, I've been in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was telling Charlie, it's twice the size of, the, no, size of this building. I know, it's, it's the biggest one. Mr. Reed said it's the biggest one. You were wrong. I'm telling you, with the height gain, that building's bigger. <laughs> the, the rafters are higher. It's bigger. There's more square, more square footage over there. You're wrong. Okay. You got anything else for Red? Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Doing a great job. Go Eagles. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing an 84 nothing. Well, I guess we'll take 83 nothing over to the rival, okay? Thank you for the time. Good luck.